good morning student in the last class we have finished polynomial chapter and i have given some homework in the polynomial that you have to do it and check your homework notebook within this week or in the starting of the next week okay then we will go for another new chapter what is the chapter that is also understandable easy chapter what is the chapter chapter number 3 linear equation in two variable in the previous equation what you have seen polynomial equation all will be in a single variable that means x x x will be there y y y will be there in a single variable here two variable will be there two variable means what x and y variable will be there okay how you write the x and y variable in a standard form equation in two variable this is the standard form of writing a equation in two variable coefficient into x coefficient into y constant coefficient equal to zero here we are going to solve linear equation of two variable two equation and you are going to find the solution of x and y that is your chapter two variable two pair a pair of linear equation pair two equation will be given you have to solve the equation and you have to find the value of x and y that is the main aim of this chapter in different different form you are going to do so our standard form of writing the two linear equation in two variable a pair means two equation will be given a1x plus of b1y plus of c1 equal to 0 standard form a2 second equation a2x variable will be x only the coefficient will change a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 this is the standard form of writing the linear equation in two variable pair pair means two so that we are writing here okay that is your standard form of linear equation what we are going to see in this chapter is how to solve this two equation and find the value of x and y understood that is your main work in this chapter here so many methods are there all are easy method you can understand easily first method is graphical method you have to draw graph for each equation under the order in line standard same thing you have to do it here in linear equation in two variable one keeping x in one to one side and changing the y variable on other side substituting the value you have to draw a line i told you in line standard linear equation will be always a straight line so linear equation for first one you will get one straight line second equation will get another straight line both will intersect then you will form a graph the intersection point will give you the x and y axis value that is x value and y value that we will do it in the last of this chapter because we need graph both okay that is first method is graphical method that we will take to the last and algebraic method that means equation you have to solve in the ninth standard you have to know solving the equation you have to do solving the equation two equation you have to give x and y value you have to find it algebraic method is there these are called algebraic method what are the method name substitution method converting x value and substituting in the y value and solving the problem from this one equation you are converting into x this x value is substituted in the second equation then find the y value then substitute the y value in the first equation find the x value then we will do it when we are doing the problems so substitution method the name itself says you are going to substitute one equation to another equation and finding the value this is another one next one elimination method elimination method means what out of this two equation you are going to eliminate x or y then you are finding the value of x and y eliminating method then cross multiplication method you are take the coefficient 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 then you have to cross multiply then we have to find the x and y value see three algebraic methods are there substitution method elimination method cross multiplication method or easy one and how you find a equation is a we can get a solution or not when you see the equation itself we can say this equation we will get solution this equation we cannot get solution this equation will get many infinite many solution how you define it this is the method condition for obtaining solution condition for obtaining solution what is the first condition if a1 upon a2 is 
not equal to b1 upon b2. That means what? See in your standard form, a1 is the first equation, a2 coefficient of the second equation, x variable, b1 is the y variable coefficient in the first equation, b2 is the y variable coefficient in the second equation. a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. That means what you see in the example I have done, 2 upon 3. 5 upon 6, both are equal? No. If this is the condition, you will get x value, y value perfectly. Unique solution you will get. Understood? One system solution or unique solution you will get. That is the first condition. If coefficient of the first equation, x variable, coefficient of the second equation, x variable, is not equal to coefficient of the first equation, y variable, Upon coefficient of the second equation, y variable is not equal means ratio, you will get unique solution. Example of equation I have 2x plus 5y equal to 12, 3x plus 6, 6y equal to 15. When you check this one, 2 upon 3, 5 upon 6, both are not equal, so unique solution. You will get when you solve it. That you will do later. Second condition, if a1 upon a2, a1 is what? Coefficient of the x variable upon the coefficient of the second equation x variable. A1 upon a2 is equal to b upon b1 upon b2. Coefficient of the y variable of first equation, coefficient of the y variable of the second equation. This ratio is equal, but this a1 upon a2 is not equal to the constant coefficient ratio. Or b1 upon b2 is not equal to constant coefficient ratio. If that is the situation means no solution, you will never get x, y value. Understood? So, I have read here 3x plus 4y equal to 14. Right. Same thing 3x upon 4y equal to 10. We cannot get. See, 3 upon 3, 1. 4 upon 4, 1. So, this is equal. But you see, 3 upon 3 is equal to 14 upon 10? No. 4 upon 4 equal to 14 upon 10? No. So, there is no solution. If you solve the equation, you will never get solution at all. This is the second condition. Last condition. Third, if A1 upon A2 ratio is equal to B1 upon B2 ratio is equal to C1 upon C2 ratio, all the ratios are equal means you will get infinitely many solution. What is the meaning is you see the example equation 2x plus 4y plus 14. Here, second equation 4x plus 8y plus 28. When you simplify, you can divide everything. x plus 2y is 7. 4 can divide everything. 4, 8, 28. x, 2y, 7. See, both the equations are same, no? If you substitute x value will be here, y value will be here, the same value you can put it here also. Because both the equations are same. If you put 3 here, 4 here, See, 3 and 4 you are putting, you will get the same answer. If you are getting 5 here, 6 here, if you put 5 and 6, both the equation will be same to same. So, infinitely many solution you will get. So, these are the three conditions in the pair of linear equation in two variables. Based on the condition, we will do the problems in the later classes. Okay, what we have done today? What is linear equation? Pair of linear equation? Standard form of linear equation, how to solve the x and y by graphical method, what are the algebraic method, substitution method, eliminating method, cross multiplication method. Then what is the condition while seeing the equation? If, a, if the coefficient ratio a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, you will get unique solution. If a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2, but a1 and a2 B1 and B2 is not equal to the C1 and C2 ratio, no solution you will get. God one, if all are equal, all the ratios are equal, A1 upon A2, B1 upon B2, C1 upon C2, all the ratios are equal, then you will get infinitely many, many solutions you will get. Both are same equal you will get. So after this we will stop. In the next period we will continue the later classes. Okay, thank you.